This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy VI. So we cut off last time right after we got onto Setzer's airship after the opera. So let me just continue forward with the dialogue here. But this is the tough one. Part two begins now. Where's Setzer? He's coming. Who are you? You're not Maria. That's her. We need your help. We have to go to Vector. We need the ship to get there. Look, if you're not Maria, I don't want you aboard. Wait. We were told your ship is the finest vessel in the world. And that you were the world's most notorious gambler. Saban doesn't have anything to say, and but Edgar. I'm the King of Figaro. If you cooperate, you'll be well rewarded. Throwing his money around. Come here. Yeah? Don't misunderstand me. I'm still not sure if I'm going to help you. So yeah, he's got like a casino on board. Ugh. The Empire's made me a rich man. Stop thinking of yourself. Many towns and villages have been smashed by the Empire. The Empire's also totally rot. It's using magic to enslave the world. The Empire and my realm were allies. Until recently. The Empire will end up owning you. The Empire. Evil? We all hate the Empire for the same reasons. That's why... You know, you're even more stunning than Maria. Enough! If you... If Celeste becomes my wife, I'll help. Otherwise... What? Are you stupid? We haven't any choice. Yes, it's settled. But I have conditions. We'll decide with a coin toss. If it's heads, you'll help us. If it's tails, I'll go with you. Well, Mr. Gambler? Oh, -ho, fine. I accept. Listen to yourself, Celeste. You can't become his wife. You just can't. Is Locke jealous? Ready? I win. Now honor your part of the bargain. How? Unusual! A coin with identical sides. That coin? Big brother! Don't tell me. I think you've been hustled, Mr. Gambler. Ha! How low can you get? I love it. Alright, I'll help you. Nothing to lose but my life. My life is a chip in your pile. Annie up. Yeah, so you get that little extra dialogue with um, Edgar and Sabin there. And I'm not sure how it plays out with the coin thing if you don't bring Edgar along, because notice Celeste did go to Edgar to get the coin. I don't think I've ever not had him in my party, though, at this point. So, if you are aware of how that changes, please let me know in the comments. This unwieldy looking ship really moves. Could it crash? When things fall, they fall. It's all a matter of fate. Probably a little more to it than that. The ship's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Better land some distance away. Right. I'll wait on board in case of an emergency. So he's kind of like in our party, but kind of not. For now, he's just our pilot. 
And now we have this automatic, kind of excruciatingly long scene where we're just heading to the Empire. <laughs> I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, it's kind of cool, but probably takes a little longer than it needs to. I think those are meant to be like spotlights shining in the air. And the way they make it look there, it seems like the whole continent is one giant town with some kind of a castle in the middle, but, <laughs> but that's not quite the way of it. You can actually go back into the airship here. Yo-ho! Customers! Need any refreshment? So this guy will give you a free heal, and this one actually sells stuff. Just items. I did use a few of those. Buy remedies here now. And smoke bombs. If I have enough money, I'll get a few. I'll save the rest of my money for the town here. Um, yeah, you can explore the rest of the airship if you want to now. Not a whole lot going on. Here's where we came in. I don't remember, was this a door? No, kinda looks like one. And I think Setzer's just up here somewhere. Yeah, this guy will let you take equipment off party members. Like, either everybody, or just people that aren't currently in your party. So, yeah, as you get farther into the game, something like that is pretty nice. Yeah, here's the main casino part, I guess, and this is where we had the scene with him. What's going on? Empire's becoming paranoid. Yeah. And this just goes to the deck, I believe. Yeah, but we're just parked here. Can't do anything else for now. So, first of all, let's just go into this town we parked right by. This is Albrook. The Empire strings up anyone who opposes it. Three cheers for the Empire! This is Albrook, the occupied city. So yeah, it's got two levels, the base and then the upper level. There's a weapon shop, and we saw the item shop. You'll find some good weapons and items in Zen and Miranda. I guess he's meaning to imply that you won't find any here. Everything belongs to the Empire. You're in the way, yet... No entry into the port. If you try to walk back in, we'll just... kick you out. Uh, before we go up to the second level, let's check out the shops here, I guess. Yeah. Got a couple treasures there, but they're both empty. Emperor Gestal himself asked me to do his portrait. What if he doesn't like it? And he'll probably string you up, I suppose. Art's hat is new. By one. It's equal to what um, Edgar and Sabin have on, but it's better for Celeste and Locke. Mithril Vest, we've already seen. I guess? Wait, did I not equip that on Celeste? I bought that. Well, I'll check that out here. Anyway, I have at least one of everything there. Oh. I think what it did is it unequipped her because we were... She was in the... Because she was in the... Opera. Probably took her relics off too. I can't remember what I had on her. 
I think the ribbon and the hero ring, actually. I'm a scholar of weapons. One thousand years ago, during the War of the Magi, two so-called Atma weapons existed. One changed a person's power into a sword. The other was a monster bred for mass destruction. Sounds interesting and potentially terrifying. Got a tincture there for free. The forged got a poison claw, which says it's worse. But probably worse than the fire knuckle, but probably better than the kaiser knuckle. And we got a new sword available. Another new weapon for Shadow. And then his throwing stuff. So I'm not going to be able to afford everything. I'll hold off on the Blossom for now, just because, well, Shadow's not in the party anyway. See how much of an upgrade it would be for the other people. Yeah, I think for now it's more of an upgrade for Edgar. Although I generally have not been using his physical attacks that much. Yeah, I guess for that matter, why don't we give it to her and move her back to the front row? Also, I should check on my espers and see where we're at. Yeah, it also did unequip Celeste's Esper, it looks like. Guess the item shop is over here, too. Don't think he'll have anything different. Eh, we'll round it off to 10 for that. Alright. Go up to the next level. They say there's something valuable to the east. The Empire built a base there and no one may enter. Hmm, I wonder, huh? We have to bribe the troopers to do business here. Mess with the Empire and... Yeah. And you can actually, yeah, go behind and around here. Vector, capital of the Empire, is at the center of this continent. Well, it sounds like that's where we're trying to get to. I'm a scholar of magic. Monsters on this continent have only weak magical power. Okay, got a potion. This is the inn, but... We had the free stop at the airship anyway, so need to use that here. Relic shop. That is one thing, I guess. I can sell off a bunch of those goggles I picked up that I stole in Zozo. Okay, they're worth 250. I, I think I said I thought they were worth 500, but I'm gonna keep four probably. Just so if I absolutely had to, I could put one on each character in my party. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I finished checking. Does he have anything I don't have? Amulet. I was kind of hoping it would tell me what it does before I buy it. I think it's a status protection thing again for a couple of different statuses. I'll have to remember to... If I don't find it somewhere else, I'll have to remember to try to come back here. Yeah. Here's an elixir in the clock. And yeah, we do have the upbeat music here, so it's kind of like a... They're entertaining the soldiers. You're in the way! Get! Aha! Whoopee! Ah, welcome. 
In any case, you're probably broke. Sure, no problem. Hey, you're not of the Empire. Get out of here. Yeah, so I guess this is where they're blowing off steam. Nuts! These soldiers are absolutely insane! This cafe is like an Imperial soldier's dormitory. Yeah. <laughs> that's all we got going on there. I think that's actually it for this town now. For now, at least. So, there are a few different things you can do. You could potentially just go straight to Vector, but there are still a couple other towns on this continent. So I'm actually going to try to make my way to the next town. You can see where we're at. The dot in the middle is Vector. The dot to the east is that base that they talked about in town there. To the north is Zen. And far to the southeast is Miranda. That's where I'm going to head. And we'll just fight everything we find on the way. Ralph and Joker. I think I can get a steal from the Joker. No, that's not what I was thinking of, but I think he has a rare steal. Yeah, and you remember that guy talked about how the monsters on this continent have only weak magical abilities? Well, that's pretty strong compared to what I've faced so far. I think I could kind of hug the shoreline here and make my way around the mountains. I suppose that means I should probably try to take the Joker out more quickly this time. Or I guess I could have Celeste use Runic if I want to avoid that. Yeah, the Poison Claw also has the potential to do poison damage there. There's a wyvern? Wyvern? One of those that I kind of go back and forth on how I think it might be pronounced. I think I usually land on thinking of it as wyvern. a step up in enemies from what we have seen, but that's logical. It's progression through the game. Okay, Locke leveled up and he learned Poison. They've been leveled up and learned him. Edgar learned Cure. Scan. So, yeah, we got over a thousand GP for just that one fight. So, yeah, Edgar can finally help me heal now starts to make your MP last a lot longer when you have multiple characters for healing. At least in the early parts of the game, I usually save my MP for healing if I can. Just because most of the magic spells I get at this point isn't necessarily that effective, unless it's like against an enemy that's weak to it. Yeah, weed beater. I think these are actually... If I remember right, they're a little less common compared to some of the other enemies around here. So if you're trying to fill out the bestiary, I've had to try to, I've had to fight around on this continent quite a while trying to find them before. I could be thinking of a different one though. I think it's the weed feeder. 
think there are some enemies that appear mostly in the desert here, too. Yeah, let's see how much damage Fire Dance is doing now. <laughs> Not bad. The last game to level and learn Mute. Edgar learned Antidote. Keep an eye on my Aspers and make sure nobody's maxed out already. Ah, yeah, Cure 2 is going to take a little while for him. Spray is a little slow, too, because Float takes a while. And Ramu for Bolt 2. Siren's pretty fast, I think. Yeah, because the lowest one's 6. But I only have 4, so... I'll probably just have to wait until somebody else masters theirs. I got another group of these guys. I was probably wrong on that. This is just the odds. We're slow. We're almost there. All right, here we go. Our next town of the Empire, Miranda. Gotta rev revivify. Um, yeah, the end's right here. Might as well use it. That one doesn't have an elixir. Two hundred. Miranda used to be this continent's most beautiful town. Look what the Empire's done to it. These troops are crazy. How long can things keep going on like this? My son's being forced to serve in the Empire's army. Then an Albrook too fell into the Empire. Yeah, they're like wagering on dog fights, it seems like. Hey, you want to get hitched? Aisha, no. But yeah, got her chasing the soldier here. There's a remedy. Hey, you can actually walk back here, but I don't think there's anything over there. This is our only means of recreation. Bram. Ooh. My dog's the fiercest. You should hear the gossip floating around here. Hehe, <laughs> this town is ours to play with. Life's all bets here. Nope, can't fight. I'm in the middle. <laughs> he sent that book. I'll read it every evening before bed. So, yeah, this is the girl that we were sending stuff to when we were in Mobiliz for that injured soldier. Kind of interesting. All right, we've got Mithril Pike. Also got a Trident here. Otherwise, same stuff. Okay, I guess Boomerang's new too. Okay. Um, 
am somewhat interested to see how much different that is. Okay, so the Epi would still be better. But it's not to, not to the point that I'm that worried about it at this point. I think I will switch this up now. Uh, just for the fact that I can put him in the back row. And we do have an armor shop yet. Pretty much spent all my money already, so I'm, unless I sell some stuff, I'm probably not going to be able to afford any new stuff here, if they got any. And they do. They got the Mithril, ve or the mithril Helm and Mithril Mail. So, let's get rid of unnecessary duplicates. Yeah, except for stuff like that, because it's sold for one. Those are pretty good. They do sell for quite a bit. Uh, same with these. I don't think I'm ever going to care about having more than two of them. I usually don't use them anyway, so I will sell one. Same with these. I'm never really going to use those anyway. Hmm. Yeah. Three people could use those. And three people could use these. I'm gonna get two of those. I'll go with her first, just because she's still in the front row. I think that's better for now. Alright, we're done in Miranda for now. If you come over here in this forest, you can actually find a chocobo stable. How much does it cost? Sure, I'll take that for a hundred. Kind of show off a little bit more of the continent. Although from this perspective, it's a little harder to... Yeah, I mean, I wish they would have just kept it in the same perspective. I mean, I understand trying to do different things, but yeah, I don't like it. Also, it doesn't seem like it moves very fast either. Alright, so yeah, like they said in the central part here, that's actually Vector. But, once again, part of this perspective, I think the first time I saw it, I thought it was just like another piece of mountain. <laughs> I remember playing through this game the first time, so I think I was riding a chocobo and I was like, where am I supposed to go here? I didn't figure it out. Here's back where the airship's parked, and there is a fairly large desert area here. I am actually going to go to the military base over here just to show that off. Pretty sure we can't really do anything in here for now. I think you can fight all of these guys, though. Yeah, if you run into them, you gotta fight them. So this is just commandos. Okay, got a tent. And I think these are the kind of guys 
where you're going to want to use magic against them because I don't think physical attacks do very much. We'll see that shortly, though. I think flash still counts as magical damage. That's kind of why I use that. Yeah. They're not really worth that much. I got another 10. Okay, money-wise, they're okay. And yeah, anytime you run into a party like that and fight, then it kicks you out of the base automatically. We're going to go ahead and call it there for today, though. So next time we'll pick up, and before I go to Vector that we showed off, I'll head to the north and go to Zen. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.